Motif AI just got an upgrade. They've updated their AI features and I wanna show you how to create apps and websites more accurately. So I'm in the workspace and we wanna to go to the AI dropdown menu and we wanna go to Motif Lab and go AI generates UI. And you can see right now it's hot because everybody is using it and testing it out. So I'm gonna show you the new features. Now, here is the normal text prompt box. If we go down the bottom now, we can actually tell it to generate a random prompt. So we can do this, it will shuffle a couple IDs for you just to get your mind off that blank space, um, as you can see. We can also use a reference image now. So if I click on this, we can upload an image uh, that's about five megabytes. So for example, let's upload this e-commerce site um, of Starlink, just an example. And then we can actually choose the style we want. If you leave on auto, you can see it will auto do a design. You can use material design UI assets, or if you do web, you can actually use Shade CN, which is a great component library, or you can do it from Ant Design. And the cool thing is once you have a design, you can tell it to restyle the design just by clicking this and it will remix it. So I'm gonna put this and I'm going to put a quick prompt. I'm just gonna paste that in. Now remember, you wanna be concise with your prompt if you're just doing a clear, simple design, but you can also do a more advanced text prompt where you actually lay out specific design choices, maybe it's the navigation or a button or whatever, and you can put that in dot points. But now I'm just gonna do the simple um, text prompt and I'm gonna go to mobile auto and click generate. So after waiting around a few minutes, you can see that it's done the design pretty well in the style that I wanted because I uploaded this star link reference. As you can see, it's got the black background, it's got a two column grid here, um, you've got a drop down menu, and you can see it, it did it pretty well but let's change up the design. So let's maybe go with this blue version here. I'm just gonna duplicate that. Uh, we can select it. And then what we can do is we can change the design to this, and then we can say, change the colors from blue to a orange. Let's go maybe change the font as well. And then we're gonna change the images to phone cases as well. And and we can choose the style and then we click generate. So it's gone ahead and done some of those updates. We can see that the font is different. It changes to Inter, let's click on it. So it didn't do Inter, but it's changed to Roboto, which is basically pretty similar. Let me search for Inter, okay, the Inter's there. That's fine, they're very similar. They've also changed the color from the blue to this orangey brown color. Uh, I, I would have preferred to make it like more orange like this, but that's totally fine. This one has better photos. It's got more of what I wanted. I didn't want text, but that's fine. It's got some more phone cases, got the prices, and then it's got the icons there, which is really cool. If you are specific with this language and tell it to do English, it will change it. As you can see, I've got English there. Now let's do another example. I'm gonna upload another reference image which I found online. And then I'm gonna go with shade CNUI and I want to create say a design resource app. So with this one, I'm gonna do a more in-depth prompt. So I'm gonna paste in this prompt. So it's gonna be a resource manager app for designers that centralize access, that have access to like templates, assets, fonts, etc. So I've clearly identified the visual style, giving it a white theme, use grays, big bold typography, with the sans serif font, and it'll be called design vault and let's click generate and see what it creates. Great, now we're done. So it gives us two different versions, which I like, and let's check it out. So we've got design vault. So the text is great. The buttons are good. The shade and UI is a really great resource. So you can tell the design is clean and good. So we've got the folders, which is called the cards. Um, we've got some maybe collections here, view all resources, collections, little progress bar and design vault. That's awesome. And then this one has got more of a search bar, which is good. And it's got more of a pricing there as well. And same thing using, is that gray? Yeah, a light gray there and, and using the same white as well. So it works pretty well if you give it more detail. And then obviously uh, we can come here and we can you know click on the frame you want and we can always just update it and we can change the style uh, really well. And the cool thing is we can start throwing in images here and playing around with it. So this is the AI updates that I feel are really good. It are uh, more responsive, more accurate. In, it knows your intention when you with what you want to design. And I think overall, it's just really, it's really great. If you want to try out Motif, check it out below. I'll put the link in the description below and uh, give it a go. It's completely free. With the AI, you do get 50 goes or 50 prompts. Um, as you can see in the Motif lab on the free plan, it's really generous to try out. You can build up a few websites with that, I reckon. Oh, and by the way, Motif AI 2.0 is in beta access. If you do want access, then I'll put a link in the description below. You can try it out, just use your email. If you do want to see another website tutorial, then you can actually watch this video right here and watch me create a website.